Hello Indie Game Fan! With a whopping 839 new releases on Steam in May, inevitably I have missed some new releases due to surprise releases, 1.0 versions coming out of early access, or simply oversight on my part, so here are the indie game new releases that I missed in May 2019. Otaku's Adventure is a unique mishmash of genres and minigames from point and click to shoot 'em up, all wrapped up with a beautiful art style. Mist Messages is a free-to-play visual novel with both romance and horror undertones. Who Are You, Mr. Cooper is a steampunk choose-your-own-adventure game where you have to find the mysterious Alexander Cooper as part of your dying friend's request. Project Hester is a unique tower defense game with evolving enemies. Defend humanity from the Protean Swarm, monsters that adapt to your strategy, using real models of biological evolution. Project Hester is a 3D tower defense game with evolving enemies, where the towers and the locations that you choose to place them in will affect the procedurally generated enemies, since the most successful aliens produce the next generation of offspring. Seems very clever. Offspring which inherit their parents' terrifying traits. This evolutionary model is a form of procedural enemy generation, which creates a game experience unique to each player and each strategy. As you play through the campaign, discover the origin of the Peruvian invasion. Discover the secrets of Project Hester. Fantasy Hero Manager is a management RPG where you recruit a bunch of heroes and use your airship to seek out the Fountain of Eternal Youth. It races, 13 magic types, an ascension and class system, crafting, fishing and procedural generation at plenty of depth here.
Project Winter Hit 1.0 and is an 8-player multiplayer survival game where there are traitors in your midst. Try to survive the winter and call in rescue vehicles while watching your back. Aaron, you've made it this far. They don't know who you are yet. Just gotta take them out one by one. This guy? I could take him out easy. Some logs, some stones. Make that shiny new axe I always wanted. The key is to make it sharp. Now you, Santa's little helper. Berries with a side of landmine. Boom. Who's this weakling? I guess I could be merciful. Just one bullet. Bang. Quick. That's only if Mother Nature doesn't get to them first. Right, Aaron. Just as you plan. citizens from the humanoid threat. In this new world, there are no rules. The only imperative is survival. Zera Survival is a multiplayer survival looter shooter where, surprise surprise, you are fighting humanoid robots instead of the box standard zombies. But this game does give me a little bit of that DayZ vibe. Zera Survival Dungeon Dungeons of Ink and Paper is a first-person dungeon crawler with a fantastic art style, and while not necessarily unique, see Paper Sorcerer for example, this has a classic old-school feel. Omni Footman is a Souls-like roguelite action game which we are seeing more of these days, and while some of these look like stock assets, the reception thus far has been pretty alright.
interstellar transport company also hits 1.0 and is a management strategy game about building a galactic transportation empire to supply goods throughout the galaxy. Join the brand new Minion Masters Tournament. Why, you ask? Reason number one, create brilliant strategies. Reason number two, dominate your opponent. Oh, what did you see? Beam? It's the Minion Masters Tournament. Out of range with the beam. Oh, he's placing it to the fucking bridges! Reason number three, forge an awesome alliance. There's no I in team, but there are two in winning. Reason number four, build a massive collection. Shh, he's concentrating. Montage! Minion Masters is a free-to-play take on the Clash Royale formula of summoning minions to take down your opponent with the hook of having master characters with unique personalities and abilities. Seems to be pretty decent, but watch out for microtransaction hooks given the free-to-play model. Ant Queen 3D is an ant colony simulation about running the colony where you have to find resources, excavate tunnels, disinfect mold, and survive from generation to generation. Pax Romana, Romulus, lets you take on the role of Romulus, one of the legendary founders of Rome, but surprisingly, it is a farming sim type game that's supposed to have a story mode and an open world aspect, so just an overall strange but unique game. Dogurai is a retro-inspired action platformer where, obviously, you play as a dog samurai. Love the Game Boy style aesthetics, and with 8 different stages and presumably 8 different robot leaders, this bears more than just a passing resemblance to the Blue Bomber, but does it in its own way which is great. For more upcoming indie game new releases, check out the previous video or click on the recommended playlist and I will see you after the jump.